I'm Danielle Kern Camp here's what's making news this Wednesday morning. The city of Bakersfield set to vote on a requested $400,000 amount that would be aimed at helping expand and improve services for the homeless. The CEO of the Bakersfield Homeless Center says they always rely on the federal and state government to help with funding and requested $400,000 back in August to meet increased demands. The county committed to half and asked the city to match their pledge, but it's a request that's been delayed at city council since September. The City Council is expected to make a decision during a meeting tonight at 515. And listen up, Condors fans. The team's inviting you to their Shop and Skate event where you can come and skate with the Condors. There will also be some deals on merchandise if you need to finish up your holiday shopping. This will be from 6 to 7.30 p.m. tonight at Bravo Bank Arena. Admission is free. Skate rentals are $5. Santa, and today the Jingle Santa. Bell Club is bringing Christmas magic to more than 500 students in Kern County. They're hosting their annual Christmas party for first graders at four different low-income schools. Students will receive shoes and lots of gifts, and they'll also have the opportunity to meet Santa. This is the 13th year for this event. Now let's get a quick check of your forecast with our chief meteorologist, Elena Rusk. Yes, hey, good morning, Danielle. So we had a system moving on shore last night, helped to mix things up. I was driving at about 8 p.m. last night, and I saw the moon. That meant that we did indeed get those clearing skies enough to see off into the distance to catch that planetary object. But as we take a look at the system moving on shore to the north, it keeps the rain and snow to the north. It's just dragging by a dry cold front this morning. So that provides some cloud cover, a little bit of a breeze, keeps us cool for another day, but it does help to stir up that morning fog, which is stopping it from forming and also helping us stop from getting a new stratus deck to form. So we're getting some nice sunshine over the valley today. At last, after several days of gray, the mountains will see some more sunshine as high pressure is building this afternoon. Means a chance of fog tonight into tomorrow morning, another sunny afternoon and warming heading into Thursday and Friday. And then a no system is pushing on shore Friday morning into the evening hours. We're going to see another dry cold front come through a couple degrees of cooling, but no rain chances there. So just for the next couple days, you'll have passing clouds, passing breezes, chances of morning fog. Our next chance of rain is coming Sunday into Monday. And unfortunately, Danielle, you can see we've had to drop those Monday rain chances down. It now looks like we're not taking a direct hit out of this system. But again, it's still several days away, so things could change. And then a quick note for you in the 10 day forecast, you can now see winter begins next Friday. Very exciting, Elena. Thank you. That's going to do it for this update. Enjoy your Wednesday.